your choices. I like your choices. What's up, kid? A little teeny tire and a little teeny pile. And a little teeny tiny puma. Done. <laughs> this is like Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yes! You know this is like um, hippie level 11, right? <laughs> to be barefoot in the rain in the forest making a, a mud oven so you can cook vegan pizza. <laughs> wearing, wearing a shirt that says spiritual gangster. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, I took your... It's okay, I got one. This is a pink grass. <laughs> He's like, what is that? Babe, you're the man for doing this. I'm sorry, I can't help you. It's just too cold. It's too cold on my girly feet. <laughs> It's pretty cold out here. Yes. It's just really cool that our sand has got this um, bluish tint to it. So it's making our cob blue. Yeah. I think it's really pretty. This is Michael Flatley, the Lord of the Cob. Look pretty good.
Hey, so this week has kind of been an exercise in patience. Uh, I have to let certain things cure and dry with the oven. It's a totally earthen oven, so you're kind of at the mercy of the weather. And as you can see, the weather here is very wet, which is good because things dry slowly. My mortar, my cob, um, all the pieces of this oven dry slowly, which makes less cracking and will make it stronger and uh, more permanent in the long run. But I can't just finish it all in one day because you have to wait when part A is drying, you have to wait till part A is finished drying before you go to part B and etc. So right now we're waiting for the cob to dry a little more before we put um, another insulation layer which is gonna be more of that perlite cement mixture. Perlite is that light rock you normally use in garden soil. We're gonna use it with cement to make a little bit of insulation. And then one more layer of finishing cob on the outside. And in the meantime, I'm doing the archway of the finishing bricks and uh, doing a better job with the masonry work so that it looks better because um, this will all be visible. Now, the brick oven, as you can see, is almost gone. You guys were the only ones to see it, Nicole and I and you guys. So you'll never see the bricks again unless you see it from the inside when we're cooking. So I've had a fire going for about four or five days straight and I've been steadily increasing the size of the fire every day. Um, curing my mortar, curing the brick, curing the cob. Um, and I think we'll be ready tomorrow to put our perlite and cement mixture over this layer of cob, about an inch and a half of this cement perlite mixture. And then when that dries, a finishing layer of cob and then we're pretty much done. So today my goal is to finish the brick, the red brick archway and put in the chimney or the flue in the middle of it. So stick with me and uh, we'll do it together. If the fire runs low, I get distracted. I've been using this nice copper pipe that we found on Etsy and I'll be making these myself now because it's just a copper pipe with a hole in the bottom and it just focuses my breath into a stream of air that allows me to kind of bring back any fire from the brink of death. This has been a godsend for us for our wood stove in the yurt because in the early morning when it's cold and we've been sleeping, even if there's one ember, one coal left in the wood burning stove, I can put some cedar kindling on top of it and I can blow it back to a big fire really quick without any smoke coming in the yurt. So check it out, I'll show you. You ordered some sun? Yeah. Where is it? 
<laughs> I know, my order didn't go through. What do you think? I love it. So Jake just finished the arch. It looks great. I don't want to accidentally bump it. Um, but it looks awesome. And I mean, come on, look at this. Look how good this looks. It's like so clean and crisp and it looks so beautiful. We can shoot out really good, babe. Thanks. So Jake ordered some amazing handmade tiles from, uh, on Etsy. They're so beautiful. So they're kind of Mexican. They're like a Mexican inspired tile look. Um, so that we have like a variety of different designs all handmade very very beautiful jake and i had such a fun time opening the box and like seeing what was inside of it and we're like oh my god this one looks so awesome this one has to go on the stove and then we made piles for different projects and other things going on um so we're really excited with how they look they are so beautiful and you and i have such a history in mexico arizona and the desert southwest yes that's where we met and mexico was our first international trip right together as a couple well, my first international trip. So we're gonna bring some of that flair to our Komorebi yeah, Novotero oven. Yeah, it's good to bring color. So because we don't want just red and gray, you know, we want to add a little bit of flair, a little bit of fun. Um, so we picked out the ones that we like the, the best, and we're gonna do a strip of tile along the top, and then actually all around it is right, right? Just a tile all around it is what you said. I think they call it a, a trim. Yeah, so we picked the ones that we liked and we're going to tile this up right now to add a little bit of texture and I think it'll look awesome. <laughs> no, it feels warm. It's like a hand warmer, but it's looking good. All right, let's do the tile. Okay, let's go. Over. Over. What do you think? Sounds good. I like your choices. I like your choices. Thanks. It's almost like we're collaborating together. <gasps> wow. <laughs> it's gonna look really. It's gonna animate it and bring it to life. Yeah. yeah. It's alive. It's alive. It's Kai. It's Kai. It's Kai. Calm yourself, Kai. When I let go, is it gonna stay? It did. Yay. It's like Jenga over here. Huh? It's like Jenga over here. <clears throat> hey, check it out. Make sure I don't go up and down a little bit. Can you get another mark?
It's actually a lot warmer today. Yeah? For sure, yeah. Are we ready? Do we look ready? We look so ready. Beyond ready. Okay, let's go. Right. Shh, listen. You hear that? The leaves falling? The dog scratching? It's just serenity. Oh. Okay. All right, to the beach. Let's go. Look at that blue mountain. Come on, bring it back. Come on, bring it back.
So we got layer one of cob, which is on top of the brick. And now we're doing a layer of perlite and cement over the cob. And then we'll finish it once that dries with another layer of cob that's just a finishing beautiful layer with less straw. So it looks really beautiful at the end. Ch -ch -ch Chia. <laughs> Alright, what do you think? It looks good. Third layer done. Yeah. Right? Is it the third layer? Yeah. It's like all furry. Yeah. Okay, so this has to dry for however long, <laughs> depending on the weather. A couple of days. And, what I'll and do then is... the final layer. And then we're done. Cool. All right. Yay. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah.